Todd McGee here coming to you from Orange County National. Sorry for not getting as many videos out as normal. Just been teaching a lot, uh, which is, I feel very fortunate to be doing that. It's been fun to connect with so many different people in person and online. So uh, today I wanted to show you a drill that I've been, I used uh, the other day just to help take away, especially for players that have a tendency in the first move um, to have the left shoulder sort of dive down and the right shoulder to elevate a lot. Um, it's pretty simple. You just take the club in the left hand only. So the idea behind it is when the left hand, if I have my left hand only on, it's going to activate um, the rotation sort of a different way than if my right shoulder goes up and my left side goes down, right? So as I do this drill, I put my right hand in my back pocket so my right shoulder's pulled back out of the way. It's not going to be up and elevating, it's actually going to be pulled back and away from the ball. So then as I reach, it's out of the way and then I just take my hand and put it on the club like this. That way, um, the club's in a good spot, my body's in a good spot, the shoulder's out of the way, and it's also, my shoulders have rotated and they haven't tilted. I haven't added too much when I go this way versus that way, so that'd be a lot of left side bend there. Uh, this way I'm rotating a lot more level with my right shoulder in a better position, making it a lot easier. So the drill that I like is you get here, you do this drill, you, where you reach the left hand across, right hand in the back pocket, and then you put your grip on, you just sort of sense what it's, that movement is, and then you go back to the ball and try to copy it. Or you can even do this drill here, get set, and then, and then make a swing and try to hit it, uh, just to get an idea of what it's gonna be. Because people, if you're used to, if the player's used to going this way, so visually how they see the ball, they're gonna be sort of looking at it almost sort of forward this direction, where if I rotate a bit, they might feel slightly more behind it, but they're not actually that much more behind it. So give that drill a try, see if it makes it easier for you to find the top of your backswing position.